Christmas tree. Thursday sped by, Friday came. After school, Bertie played in his room with his pet earthworm, Arthur. Bertie kept him in a goldfish bowl filled with mud and leaves and plastic soldiers for company. Can you see? He was trying to train Arthur to come when he called him. Arthur! Arthur! he coaxed. Bertie! called Mum from downstairs. Just a minute! shouted Bertie. He hid the bowl under his bed. His mum didn't exactly know about Arthur yet. A moment later she poked her head around the door. Come on Bertie, you'll be late for the party. What party? That's not going to work, said Mum. But, but I haven't got a present, said Bertie desperately. Mum held up two boxes. The doll or the face paint? Um, face paint, said Bertie gloomily. He wasn't going to turn up holding a doll. Oh, and I bought this for you to wear. Mum handed him a brand new t-shirt. Blech, said Bertie. It's pink and I can't wear that. Don't be silly, Bertie. It's a pink party now. Hurry up and let's get ready. She disappeared, leaving him in pink horror. Bertie retrieved Arthur from under the bed. He held the t-shirt against him and looked at himself in the mirror. What do you think, Arthur? He said. Yucky or what? Suddenly, Bertie had the most brilliant brainwave. The invitation said to wear something pink. Well, worms were pink, weren't they? He could go to the party as an earthworm. All he needed was something pink and wormy to wear. Bertie tiptoed into his parents' bedroom. Strictly speaking, he wasn't allowed to go in there, not since he used Mum's favourite perfume to make stink bombs. Opening the wardrobe, he began to pull out armfuls of clothes. Nothing pink there. But then, oh, bingo! On the top of the wardrobe, he spotted something. Susie's sleeping bag. The one she was taking to school camp. It was bright pink with a hood and it fitted snugly over his head. Perfect for an earthworm. All it needed was the finishing touch. Ten minutes later, Bertie's mum found him in the back garden. Oh, Bertie! No, Bertie! she wailed. What? said Bertie. You're filthy! Look at you! Bertie scrambled to his feet and inspected his costume. He was impressively dirty, but that was the, that was the whole point of rolling in the flower bed. Can you see him? Earthworms are meant to be muddy, he explained. They live underground. Bertie, I asked you to get ready for the party. I am, she said. It's, it said it had to be a pink party, so I am. I'm going as an earthworm. Mum looked closer. Is that, she said, Susie's sleeping bag? It is, beamed Bertie. It's perfect. The sleeping bag, bag was smeared with mud. It covered Bertie from head to toe, with only his grimy face peeping out. Mum sat down heavily on the rockery. Bertie, you can't go like that. Why not, said Bertie, it's pink. I bet no one else is going as an earthworm. <sighs> no, sighed Mum. I doubt they will.